I'm at a gypsy. All these kids and parents watching, you know, like, dude, look how look how hard they go out of the gate, you know, and you know, then they go to the practice track or go to Loretta's and let's do what those do what they do on TV, you know. So that's kind of where you know I think it. it, it there's so much, uh, you know, information accessible now yeah. that you're seeing all of that, you know, be able to 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 you know get all the way down to the the very bottom of amateurs. Yeah. Do you ever like you went to Loretta's this year? When you mm -hmm. watch those kids, do you ever think about comparison to yourself at their age? And like, what you couldn't do you, even compare? What do you see? <clears throat> you couldn't even compare. Really, that gnarly. So I always say, I think 2003, I did U.S. Open. I just told this to somebody the other day. Um, I did U.S. Open on a YZ85, and um, we got the chance to go out on onto the Yamaha track test track up on the hill. And um, I didn't even jump the triple. And back then they were still 60, 62 feet, you know. I didn't even jump the triple. Um, on an 80. On an, on an 85 back then. So and then you go to like Charlotte, for example. We had the 65. <laughs> we had three 65s jump the, the, the 72 foot triple or 75, whatever the hell it is. It's longer than it used to be. And you had a 65 kid jump it. That's 10, 11 year old kid. Uh, so compare you can't even you can't even compare that you know where the am kids are now com compared to when like myself and alessi and and uh, chisholm and, and you know all this you know older i guess older guys now yeah. you know different era completely but you think about even what like a company like verb did like verb moto every national every like every ama national every am national so think about all the kids that grew up watching people send. And like you wouldn't, I'm sure, like did you have much to watch when you were a kid? No, I mean it was, all, I mean, it was VCR, you know, so you'd yeah. have to, you know, there was no record or anything. When I, when, you know, my kid's age now, seven years old, you know, my kids can get on YouTube or, you know, and they're always watching, you know, moto stuff or something like that, you know. And But yeah, no, if it was, if you didn't watch, what was live on like uh, what was it um, i think speed yeah um or espn at the time you know you could watch obviously it was a day later too it was always the next day yeah but yeah you had to record it of some sort on a vcr you know so that yeah it wasn't accessible like it is today and think about like watching james scrub but the first like the day it happens instead of it just being like the garth milan iconic photo and then having to like reverse engineer in your head what the fuck was actually going on. It's on Instagram. And I think that's why you've happening. seen the, the evolution of our sport, you know, really speed up a lot in the last, you know, I'd say 10 years, you know, like. And you think it has? I like, think uh, I think from the amateur, not our, not our professional guys. Um, yes, I think we've all gotten better, but on, on you know, a lot slower and micro, a lot smaller levels. Like, yeah. Because it's hard to make I can gains remember at going to Loretta's, you know, Loretta's, and it was like, you know, I would say like we didn't even know how to pack a gate. You know what I mean? And now if you, like <laughs> even when I left Loretta's, like we wouldn't, it, it still wasn't like how the, how the how the big, the top guys were doing, the pro guys, you know, like um, I go to Loretta's now and most of the time, nine times out of 10, I can pick 10 gates out. Like, okay, this guy knows what he's doing. This guy, you know, it's, it's very accessible now. You know, there's so much information that you can get where we were learning it, you know, getting it real from time. Lance Smale or, you know, Jay, you know, some of these guys that raced, you know, local pro and that didn't, you know, went in and raced some stuff, you know, that qualified for three supercrosses or whatever until you, you know, I guess get, you know, eventually you work your way up. So that's why I think it was so much, it was harder then than it is now. It's still unbelievably hard like i'm dealing with it now with my kids yeah you know finding places to ride at their levels right now because they're not i i don't i won't put them on a big track with by themselves right so just finding places to ride and you know going through that the process of all what my parents did and, and the parents today that are doing it's it's very hard but i think you know getting them to learn you know, and being able to watch things a lot of these kids learn by watching yeah yeah i think that's why you see a 50 kid being able to scrub now yeah yeah, you know, it's so it's video games and 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 watching, you know, tons of videos of how they're doing it when they're leaning the bike over. You know, that's it's like, you know, and some of these kids, let's be honest, they live on YouTube. Yeah, right, live on YouTube or live on Instagram. Yeah, 
at a very young age, which I don't, I don't believe in, but you know, when it comes to this, when it comes to things, them looking at, yeah. you know, information, how to scrub, how to do this, you know, whatever, watch, just watching it, just the sick videos that are out there. I think that really helps. Yeah. Big, it's funny. Like if, when you go into other sports, like golf, for example, the average Joe, if you really want to get good at golf, there is, you can get good at golf so quick and so easily through, like if you study hard and put in like a lot of effort and a lot, obviously like you have to put time into it as well, but it's like the information is a cheat code. And like jujitsu is another great example. Like I started that six, six years ago, didn't know shit about other than just like watching stuff off the UFC. And I just went full nerd mode for two years and now I can go to any gym in the world. Yeah. And it's, I just, I know so much about, that's well, like 10 like years worth of actual just being in a gym, getting bashed for, for 10 years. Like it would take 10 years of real, real world training, which is what you had to do back in the day to oppose, opposed to two years of living on the internet, reading and watching also doing everything. It, and, repetition and, and doing it. Yeah. Like, you know, just to videos, right, of how-to videos. You can go on YouTube now and find, you know, a um, hundred decent guys, local pros or whatever. There's, there's, You can get them on Instagram, wherever you want to get them. You might have to pay for them, a small amount, whatever. But, like, I was, we would buy, I remember my dad bought Gary Simics. Yeah. yeah. Know, the the tapes. Or, yep. Yeah, I think it was Simics. Yeah. Tapes, and you know, like VCR tapes. You know, that's where you, you know, got your information. It wasn't like, hey, let, pull that video up again and watch what he does there. Yeah, but it's exactly what you said you still have to do the work mm -hmm. like you can't just it's not a substitute. and i didn't really do the work because you know they weren't film cool it wasn't it was yeah like, it was like really doing school yeah you know like <laughs> yeah. the way it was filmed it wasn't like some you know awesome edit badass edit of you know where you can watch where the guy's feet are and it's got good music put to it and it's in it, you know it's captivating yeah. this was like literally sit down and we're gonna do school we are excited to announce the launch of our new membership site, gypsytales.com, packed with exclusive content and perks that you won't find anywhere else. This is your chance to become a part of the Gypsy Gang. And as a special bonus, if you sign up to an annual membership, you'll be entered into the draw to win our custom-built TC125. Gypsy Gang.